Welcome to episode two of Animating in Toon Squid. In the last episode, we created a simple animation with a stick figure waving. In this episode, we'll be trying a different type of animation called keyframing. If you haven't already watched the last video, head over now. With this animation technique, we won't be needing all these different frames. If I press the plus icon down here, I'll press create layer, and then I'll delete the layer with my stick figure. Sorry. With this new layer, press add drawing. Now, once you have your drawing in one frame, extend it to as many frames as you want. I recommend at least three seconds. Now, draw a circle or your favourite shape. Once you have your shape, press this dot icon down here. Here you should see a couple of options. Position, Rotation, Scale, Opacity. Take the Timeline icon and drag it over to 2 seconds. Now, press on the timeline just below the drawing. A new line should appear. Then, down here, press add keyframe. Pressing this should make a new dot appear here. Press this dot and then move your shape anywhere on the screen. Make sure to turn off the edit pixels icon. Now, move it wherever you want and you should see a small line. Each one of these dots represent each frame that will be showing. When you play your animation, it should move from the first keyframe to the second. This is useful because instead of you having to animate each frame, it fills all the frames in for you. You can mess around with this a bit. For example, if you go over to the keyframe, you can adjust the shape in another way. Try rotating it. Now if you play it, it should rotate as it's moving. Now you've mastered the basics of keyframing, we can start on easing. This is basically making the movements less robotic and more fluid. To do this, press this icon down here. It should come up with loads of easing curve options. You can play around with these and they each have something slightly different about them. For now, we'll be working with the cubic easing curve. To make the easing curves work, bring the timeline to the start of the animation. Then select the easing curves and select cubic. Now you should see it looks slightly different. And when you play it, it should act slightly different as well. As you can see, the motions are less robotic. Like I said before, play around with this, have fun, and even try to create your second animation using keyframing. Thank you for watching the second episode of Getting Started with Toon Squid. If you haven't already, please subscribe as it helps out the channel. Thanks again for watching and I hope to see you in the next episode.